The SCP Foundation has a long history of experience with humanoid anomalies. From simple reality benders like SCP-239, to strange transplants from other universes like SCP-2273. But one of the oldest, strangest, and most lethal humanoid anomalies in the Foundation's considerable cabinet isn't a superhuman or a soldier. It is a man known only as Herr Chirurg. On first glance, SCP-542's containment protocol is seemingly standard. He is allowed to request personal items and furniture for his cell, so long as they are blunt and cannot be used to cut skin. Reasonable enough, and many such requests have been granted. The ones denied include nail files, clippers, and a surgery kit which has been set aside for testing only. But continuing, SCP-542 requires some special attention too. A blood transfusion every week on request, and even an organ transplant conducted by Foundation doctors should any of his own organs begin to fail. SCP-542 offers to do the surgery himself, but is repeatedly denied. To understand the story of Herr Chirurg, we must look back through time to several years before SCP-542's containment. Over the past three years, there have been a violent string of murders across America, England, and Germany. Interpol and the FBI are stumped, not only by the wide range of attacks, anywhere from 45 to 60 murders across three countries, but by the brutal nature of the attacks. The victims were found in various states of disassembly, body parts missing and tissue removed. They set up crime scenes and conducted complex investigations, but they were simply unable to find their man. In one month, four people in Germany were assaulted, with the muscle, tissue, and bone removed from all of their limbs. Three of them died from their injuries before help could arrive, and the fourth was an American woman staying at a shady German hotel. The only reason she narrowly survived the horrific attack was because of the actions of her neighbor, a Foundation agent passing through town. He heard sounds of fighting in the room next door at three in the morning and broke down the door to help, unaware of the horrific scene he would find. A huge, misshapen man best described as a Frankenstein's monster. His skin was a patchwork of different shades stitched and grafted together. His chest was sunken in, his arms were grotesquely long for his body, and his face was skeletal and gaunt. This creature, that would come to be named SCP-542, was hunched over the fully conscious woman, vivisecting her leg to remove the sinew and bone. In shock, the agent pulled his weapon and fired at the creature, which escaped through the window unharmed. The authorities were called, and the woman survived, although without her right leg. Just before being amnesticized, the woman provided a statement to the Foundation. She had been staying in Germany for a few days when she saw a strange man on her usual bus one day. Even though it was summer, the man was draped and wrapped in layers of heavy coats, jackets, and a hat. Though his face completely obscured, the woman could tell he was staring at her from the back of the bus. Thinking it was just some creep, she ignored him and got off at her stop. For three days, she continued to take the bus and ignore the strange man sitting in the back. Then, on the fourth day, when she got off the bus that night and went to her hotel room, she found the window open and the lights off, and assumed she had been burglarized. But as soon as she opened the door, she realized she wasn't alone. Two freakishly long arms with disjointed hands grabbed her ankles from under the bed and brought her crashing to the floor. Before she knew what was happening, she was tied to the bed and the hulking hunchback was retrieving a surgical set and sharpening his knives and tools. Fearing the worst, she began to scream and the agent hurt her. But by the time he broke in and shot his weapon, the creature had already done too much damage to her leg. The victim was amnesticized and told her leg had been amputated in a car crash. The Foundation took over the investigation from Interpol, realizing this wasn't some regular serial killer. This was a creature, a predator, and to find it, they had to hunt SCP-542 like a predator. After a long tracking and manhunt across Europe, SCP-542 was brought into Foundation custody, and research into this creature could begin. To understand the story of Herr Chirurg, the researchers were expecting an animal or a monster, something they could study and dissect, which is why they were so shocked when the monster began speaking in tongues, German, French, Polish, before settling on English, 
all in a sharp German accent. The beast was introducing itself, Herr Chirurg, German for Mr. Surgeon. Preliminary investigations revealing much about SCP-542 and confirmed the agent's initial impression was correct. Herr Chirurg is a modern Frankenstein's monster. His anatomy has been warped and malformed, as the agent observed. His skin is a patchwork of large chunks of skin grafted or sewn to each other, no two of which seem to come from the same person. His ribcage is warped and twisted, with all the ribs jutting out in different directions, and both his arms are different sizes, though both are incredibly muscular and far too long for his body. Attached to each is a hand, but filled with far more joints than any normal hand, allowing him to bend his fingers in almost any direction. His spine is hunched and twisted like a snake, and the skin stretched tight over his skull reveals a sunken cranium and a mouth with far, far too many teeth, none of them from the same source, and not all of them human. And these are all simply the externally obvious and most grotesque modifications. Foundation staff have conducted intense medical research, ranging from x-rays to comprehensive DNA testing. SCP-542's bone and muscle structures are asymmetrical, revealing the left and right sides of his body come from different sources. In fact, they reveal that almost all of his organs and body parts have been replaced with other body parts from different sources. His DNA is heavily fragmented beyond all logic. By any reasonable measure, SCP-542 should have died a long time ago. Instead, he is able to accept many blood types and organ transplants without so much as discomfort, much less the serious autoimmune response that any normal person would get. Not to mention, he is able to stay perfectly aware even while performing complex brain surgery on himself. Herr Chirurg's history is as enigmatic and mysterious as the question of how he remains alive. He claims he was once a simple doctor from Germany, dreadfully normal until the Great War began. The Foundation has deduced this to mean that he began his modifications to his body between the World Wars. But it appears Herr Chirurg wasn't just a monster on the outside. He claims to have worked for the Nazis in World War II as they conducted brutal human experimentation, which he described as boring. The exact nature and timeline of how he modified himself without dying at some point is similarly mysterious. He professes that he didn't work alone. For more complex surgeries such as implanting his second heart or replacing parts of his spinal cord, he had a team of helpers. Who and where these surgical assistants are now is a mystery, if they're even alive. After all, the Foundation has ample evidence Herr Hürig is able and willing to kill people for their parts. After all this exhaustive research on SCP-542, you'd be forgiven for thinking that he is some kind of mad scientist, driven insane by his experimentation on his own body. While no one can answer why Hürig kills except himself, he is almost frighteningly sane. This hulking monstrosity enjoys reading his anatomy textbooks, which he requests on a regular basis, along with filling out crossword puzzles in German. He's friendly too, described as surprisingly pleasant by the research team. He holds long, intellectual conversations on topics ranging from science and biology and medicine to politics and history, which he seems to recount with startling accuracy. In fact, tissue testing has failed to return a definitive age for the surgeon. He's incredibly skilled at the game of chess, and the research team is allowed to play with him as a method of interview. SCP-542 displays fluency in a variety of European languages, though he prefers his supposedly native German. At first, the research team was enthused with his presence, even if he was a little terrifying. Having a brilliant doctor to converse with was a great distraction for them. His ability to heal from intense surgery with almost no organ rejection or allergic reactions was considered a medical miracle. And rather than locking him up and throwing away the key, the research team decided to use him to try and harness this incredible power for modern medicine. His books and notes captured along with him reveal surgical techniques and methods far more advanced than considered possible when they were written. For his part, SCP-542 was happy to comply. He enjoyed performing surgery on himself with an audience, using himself as a living cadaver to explain his manner of surgery and the functions of the body. 
Unfortunately, observing him this close carried a risk none of the researchers realized until it was too late. You see, Herr Hürig isn't just a friendly old surgeon. His body runs off second-hand parts and is constantly failing. Organs stop functioning, blood flow ceases, parts of his body grow gangrenous and necrotic. SCP-542 is able to anomalously detect when this is happening. He is perfectly and acutely aware of his own bodily functions like digestion and prostasis, and he knows exactly when one of his organs is starting to give up or his flesh is beginning to decay. When this happens, the surgeon undergoes a drastic transformation. His pleasant exterior evaporates. He grows moody and withdrawn, snapping at people and avoiding conversation. He spends long periods of time observing people, using his ability to sense how well their body is. And then when he senses an opening, he strikes. Just like his murders in Europe, he picks the body of his victims clean of their body parts he needs and lets them die of blood loss. Then he performs the surgery to replace his own failing organs with the new ones and returns to his usual demeanor. This monstrous Jekyll Hyde relationship isn't purely need-based either. The research team has discovered that Herr Hirug will also dissect people simply for the joy of the act. In one regrettable incident, a sewing kit was left behind in this cell. Several hours later, guards discovered a D-class sewn to the mattress in SCP-542's cell with the surgeon carefully and gleefully extracting his organs. SCP-542 Herr Hürig is a walking encyclopedia of medical and surgical knowledge, but all that knowledge comes from experimentation on himself and on unwilling victims. The Foundation has put him to use in certain projects, but all activity with him is to be strictly monitored and regulated. Despite appearances, SCP-542 isn't a person, he is a predator, and an exceptionally skilled and dangerous one at that. One moment of inattentiveness can result in a fate much worse than death around him. But you can rest assured that if something does happen, your parts won't go to waste. Now go check out SCP-049 The Plague Doctor Captured, SCP Animation and Story, and SCP Immortal Dr. Bright Explained SCP Animation for more anomalous SCP Doctors.